I'm Pete Zielinski with Additive Manufacturing Magazine, and I'm here with Jim Fendrick, the North American Vice President for SLM Solutions. SLM Solutions makes selective laser melting machines for producing precise metal parts through additive manufacturing. Jim, big picture question first. How do you account for the rapid growth in interest in additive manufacturing? The technology itself isn't new, but the interest in it really is. Um, talk about the adoption of additive just in the last few years. Just in the last few years, it has exploded, and uh, I attribute most of it to the aerospace industry, right. in particular GE, All right. who has uh, accepted and adapted the technology internally. And uh, people listen when companies like GE start using it internally and putting it in jet engines. So talk a little bit more about what that explosion looks like to you. You mentioned GE, the adoption in aerospace. Talk a little bit more about what types of manufacturers are you seeing expanding their use of additive and what types of manufacturers are investing in it for the first time? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's, a lot of it is, is in larger corporations and they're doing it uh, to where they can affect their production. Uh, so in, uh, here again, I'm going to use GE as an example. Uh, there, it opens up the design possibilities. Yeah. It takes down the manufacturing barriers, the traditional barriers. And allows engineers to design a part that's more efficient and operate at a higher temperature, but typically couldn't be made through traditional methods. So they're taking advantage of this technology today and designing things that they couldn't two or three years ago that give higher efficiencies. Um, another source is mold design. It's become very popular with conformal cooling mm -hmm. uh, in either die casting or injection molding to where they can uh, affect cycle times and here again uh, increase their productivity of the product. Right. So all these things are falling into place at, at about the same time. Yeah. For additive to continue to realize its potential, how will the technology have to change? Talk a little bit about what you expect in terms of improvement in the equipment for additive manufacturing. Okay. Well, just for an example, our company just in the last two years has introduced a, a dual lasers okay. and it's basically uh, multiple lasers in our 500 we have up to four lasers uh, and the more lasers you have the faster the process becomes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really add any capability as far as more materials, different materials, but I can do a part four times faster with four lasers or four parts faster with four lasers than one. Uh, another thing that the vendors are looking at doing is, is uh, in situ monitoring, yeah. uh, melt pool monitoring, laser power monitoring where they can monitor and capture this um, parameters as it's built and then have a record of it after the part for certification or validation of the part. So uh, we're doing a lot of work on that to, to help get the process more uh, transparent to the, to the users. So what I'm hearing you say is improvement in speed with multiple yeah. lasers, improvement in process control with the in-situ monitoring. Correct. It is a disruptive technology and it will make a difference and, and change the way we design and manufacture products.